You special and she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Then baby girl, you can spend it oh. And everything is alright Hello my darlings, how you all doing? Welcome back to another video And I'm at my dressing table So that can only mean one thing Makeup I haven't done a makeup video for so long uh, Yeah so I thought, why not today, look at the state of me, I look tired, I've had a breakout here and here, uh, I think it's because I've been a bit run down, to be honest, so I just feel like I've only got a nip out to the shops, so I haven't got to go anywhere in particular, but I just feel like putting a full face on, so I thought I'd share with you my um, top drugstore, affordable, great makeup that i use on a regular basis but saying that there is um a new product in here that i'm going to try that i haven't tried before um so yeah i'm going to try this pink under eye thing this was from the tiktok shop it's the vitamin babe um setting powder and it's pink it's in the shade pink and I've seen this all over TikTok. I'm not going to go full on pink, but it's very brightening apparently. And as you can see, I have got dark circles under my eyes and, you know, my, my tear troughs are, are deep. They're not that deep, but they're deep. So if we can hide and disguise that a little bit, we'll give it a go. So I'm going to be trying that out. That's the only product that I haven't used before, I think. I'm just looking yeah so everything else are my firm favorites and very very affordable as well but priority is skincare now i've already cleansed i've had my shower and cleansed this is my cleanser of choice it's the elemis pro collagen rose cleansing balm i adore this i know elemis is a pricey brand but it's just one of my favorites so this for getting your makeup off just having you can use it as a mask leave it on a bit longer about 10 15 minutes and it's like having a, a, a face mask on it's so um nourishing and leaves your skin so soft on my, my skin i haven't put anything else on yet and it feels so soft from just using this uh, in the shower and you know washing it off with a, a face cloth i absolutely love this stuff highly highly recommend that so that's my cleansing, cleansing balm of choice. I love a cleansing balm. And toner, I have been using this Elemis one. Again, my skincare is Elemis based. Uh, I have got a couple of other bits. This is the Balancing Lavender Toner. Purifying Facial Toner. It's really nice. And yeah, I just spray this on. All over my face. Smells beautiful. It really does. And while that's sinking in, I'm, I just want to tell you now these Lacuda products. I can't go along with them. These Estee Lauder dupes. Not. I cannot get along. I, I try, I've been trying to use it, as you can see. I've been using it on a regular basis of an evening. It's a nighttime uh, moisturiser and serum. But it just all balls up on, on my skin and under my eyes. It, it does not go into the skin at all. I am not enjoying this skincare. So I'm quite possibly just going to sling it. Well, I've got to get a replacement evening skincare um, serum and moisturiser. I'm sure actually that I've got some in my skincare box. So yeah, I think I'm just going to bin these because I'm not enjoying them. I can't get along with them. They don't seem to be doing anything. This smells lovely. Don't get me wrong. It smells like cucumber and it's very cooling. But after it's been on the face for about 10 minutes, you've only got to touch your face and it's like all boiling up. So yeah, not enjoying that at all. Right, under my eyes, I am going to be using the P. Louise Give It A Rest Under Eye Cream, which I am actually loving. This is my cream that I use in the daytime. And I want quite a hydrated base today because, you know what? 
I'm going full coverage, why not? So I'm going to put a good amount of that on. And just work it under the eyes. And what I normally do, I just press it in. And then just leave it for a little while to sink in rather than rubbing it in. I just press it in across the lids as well because the lids get dry, don't they? Especially if you're applying makeup. So into the corners and just let that sink in. And then serum of choice again is P. Louise. This one, I haven't bought my bloody glasses in again, have I? Uh, it's a hyaluronic acid anyway. A glowy one. So I'm just going to put some of this all over my face. It's just a clear. Get some in the bloody syringe. There we go. It's just clear, as you can see. And I'm going to put that all over. This is lovely. Smells nice. It's really hydrating. Very affordable skincare from P. Louise. Down the neck as well. Let that sink in before I put the moisturiser on. Really like that one. I'll pop it there so you can see what it's called. Something glow, is it? I should have bought my glasses in, shouldn't I? <laughs> Rise and shine. It's like a glowy hyaluronic acid. It is really nice. And then moisturiser, day moisturiser is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream with SPF 30 already in it. So no need for any extra SPF when you're using this. So I'm just going to pop a bit of this all over my face and neck. Again, absolutely love this stuff. It smells lovely. And you can feel how creamy and moisturising it is on your face. It's absolutely beautiful. So that is my skincare, day skincare. Cleanse, tone. Um, serum, moisturise and under eye cream all done. I'll just let that sink in a little bit as well because I'm going to put a base on today. I'll just wipe my uh, my eyebrows. <laughs> Get the product off. Right, for my base, I am going for my primer. I'm going to be using the Liqueur Vita Base Moisturising Primer which is the dupe of the Bobbi Brown face base primer. So I'm going to use a bit of this because, like I say, I want to be really hydrated under my makeup. So I'm popping that all around, even under my eyes, a little bit. So now... As you can see, how glowy my skin is. It's a good base to start putting the makeup on. Skincare is key when doing any kind of makeup, as you all probably know. <laughs> I'm not teaching my granddad how to suck eggs. Right, so that is skincare and primer. On. I really, really like this um, primer by Liqueura. It is lovely. I do want to get the Bobbi Brown one to try, though. But it is expensive. So I keep looking on um, Vinted. I haven't found one yet. They've got the little ones, but I want the big one. Right. Let me just go and wet my beauty sponge. Right, this is the Kaukau Cosmetic Sponge. So take note of the size of it. You watch how big it is when it's been wet. <laughs> I'm going to go wet it. 
Look at the difference. It'll get even bigger than that. And it's so soft. It's one of the best um, beauty sponges I have ever used. But it'll go even bigger than that the more it soaks in. So I'll show you again when I uh, come to use it. It's getting bigger by the second. <laughs> right. Foundation of choice today. I am going to be using the HMB airbrush um, foundation. Really, really like this. Good coverage. Um, yeah, love it. TikTok shop. I got this off. I'm still trying. I, I've got the loose powder, but I'm still trying to get my hands on the concealer, which I haven't been able to do yet. So I've got my um, Empress brush by Be Perfect, the um, Jack's Jossa. Jack Jossa collab. I've just popped a bit on my brush and I'm just going to work this around my face and then I will use my beauty blender to go over it. Now it's looking a little bit pale. Don't worry, trust the process. <laughs> I haven't put any underneath my eyes. The least product under the eyes, the better. So I'm leaving that for the concealer. So I've worked that in with the brush. Now I'm going to go in with <laughs> the makeup sponge and just bounce that all over. Just to make sure the product has melted into the skin. And then I just bounce it up under my eyes a little bit with what's on the sponge, which isn't hardly anything. And we will be bronzing up. So don't worry that I look like a ghost at the minute. Love that foundation. It's not too... It's It's got good coverage, but it's not that much that it looks um, cakey on the skin. It still shows... A bit of a glow on your skin. Really, really like it. Although I think that shade was a little bit pale. Forgot about my tan. <laughs> Maybe I should put a little bit of something on the top just to darken it up a bit. What shall we use? Let's go with a little bit of the um Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. Just a just a tad, just to to blend this out a little bit and make it look less ghostly. Oh, that's better. I'd forgot about my bloody tan. That's another firm favourite of mine, the um, Beautiful Skin by Charlotte Tilbury. I absolutely love it. Again, pricey, but I'll get mine off at Vinted. You can normally pick it up for about 20 quid. I think it's about 40, 35, 40 uh, in the shops or on the Charlotte Tilbury website. Always look on Vinted, guys. Tell you every time. Especially if you want, you know, something a bit higher end. Right. That's looking way better in that mirror than it is. <laughs> In the camera, but it's all good. I've just darkened it up a little bit, and we will be going in with um, bronzer and stuff. So, yeah, look at this now. Look how big it's got. <laughs> I absolutely love this sponge, and I always, after I've finished my makeup, I always um, wash it out. It's so easy. Just a little bit of um, micellar water or um the ice clean spray and then clean it off it's so easy yeah right next we're going to do a bit of um concealer so i'm really liking this maybelline um eraser at the moment so i'm just going to put a bit of this on so just in the corner of the eye And on the outer corner, pop just a little bit at the bottom there where it's a bit darker. 
again really affordable really good shade range really good um concealer coverage concealer full coverage i'm just going to use a little little makeup sponge just to pounce that in into the corners down the side of my nose a little bit because we're going to be trying the pink powder over the top of this this could go very very wrong <laughs> but i'm hoping that it works and brightens up the under eye but can you see how much that brightens up i'm not going to even going to be able to tell you what shade that is because I, I, I can't bloody see it's there on the bottom is that 90 I think it's 96 it's wearing off shade 96 I think so that's brightened up under the eyes no end love that concealer it's my favorite one at the moment I also like the Lacura one as well but that's the one that I've been reaching for so now before I powder, I'm just going to do a bit of contour. My favourite contour is the foundation and contour stick from Primark in the shade Chai. So I'm just going to pop a little bit here. Here. Under the chin, under my lip, my nose, and then we are going to blend, 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 blend. This blends so easy and it's such a lovely shade. Cheap as chips as well, if you can get it, because it's all blood, always bloody out of stock, like the brow sketch. And always blend everything up on your face, up into your hairline, up onto your temple, up to give the lifted look. And then when you get to your jaw, you blend down to create the shadow and the illusion of you've got it, one chin. So you blend that down like so. See, looks like I've only got one chin when in reality, <laughs> I've got five. And then I'm just going to blend the nose contour out and up towards my eyebrow. So I you know I was going all out on the base today. I don't know why. As I said, I'm not going anywhere. There we go. Totally blended out. Love it. Right, next thing is... Uh, I absolutely love that contour. If you can get it when you're in Primark, then yeah, get it. Right, let's try this pink under eye and see how we go. Just get rid of any creases. Oh, God. Oh, it would have a bloody wrapper on it, wouldn't it? That takes you three hours to get into. Luckily, I've got some scissors. Yay! That didn't take too long, did it? So, Trigwell Cosmetic Sponge, always. Even now there is a powder puff in with this. Oh, it's got a bloody sticker on the top of it and all. When in doubt, use tweezers. Oh, it's got like a little lid on the top, which is really cool, that opens up, look. So that stops any spillage there. 
there's the pink powder inside so i'm just going to get a bit of that on my trigwell sponge oh and it, as you press it it goes in in the, the top of it like goes in and brings the product up rather than you having to shake it out i like that i like that a lot so i've got some of the pink powder on my sponge. I don't know why I'm scared. Let's tap the excess off and see what this does. Well, it's definitely brightened up my under eye, that's for sure. You see the difference? Let's do the other one. If I can, I'll leave a link to this down below. It's always sold out, the pink one is. Um, but, I, you know, they normally do a video when they've got the stuff back in stock, so I'll, I'll just happen to be on at the right time because as soon as it comes back in stock it sells out well I must say I like that it's really brightened up my under eye I've gone a little bit down the outsides of the nose as well yeah I am I'm sold on that on the pink under eye. I'm just going to let it sit there for a little bit and then I'll use a brush to brush off the excess in a, in a while. So I'm just going to let it like do its thing there. Quite impressed. Vitamin Babe by the Beauty Crop um, setting powder in pink. Yeah, I do like that. I must admit. I will be using that again. So that can go in the drawer. Right, what shall we do next? I think I'm going to do my eyebrows while that's uh, just set in there. Actually, now let's do um, bronzer. And I can set this cream contour in place. Two-faced bronzer uh, in milk chocolate. Absolutely, excuse me, love, love, love this bronzer. It's... Smells like chocolate. It goes on like chocolate. Yeah, it's lovely. So I'm just going to set this contour in place with this bronzer. Again, just warming up the face. And I'm not going full glam on the eyes today. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a fluffy brush while I've got the bronzer out and I'm going to use it on my eyes and I'm just going to go all over the lid working it into the crease flicking it out at the end and that is all I'm doing on my eyes today it's all about the base today it's all about the base into the crease just darken it up in the crease a little bit that's it simple I've just used the bronzer on the top of my lid. Actually, I'll just run a little bit on the lower lash line, just a little bit. Too Faced bronzer, chocolate bronzer, absolutely love it. And I am really, really liking the pink under eye. I really am. I think it's brightened up the look of my face, no end. Okay, next! <laughs> I'm going to do my eyebrows. Brow sketch from Primark. I just love it. I really, really do. In dark brown, it's so easy to use. But again, it's one of those products that is always out of bloody stock. So if you like it and you go in Primark and you see it, just buy as many as you can that's what i do so i'm just going to do my brows my darlings 
eyebrows done. Now for mascara, Benefit Bad Girl Bang, absolutely love this one. It separates your lashes and it also gives volume. This is one of my favourites at the moment. I keep reaching for it every time. Look at that. Just after one coat. Love it. It's going to pop a bit on the bottom lashes as well. Right, blusher. Let's do some blusher. Oh, I'm just going to put a little bit of um, powder on. This is the Poundland Smoothly Does It in Translucent 1. And I'll tell you what, this is a really, really good powder. So I'm just going to use my Trigwell Cosmetics again, sp uh, a sponge, yeah, and just powder puff. Tap a bit on, and I'm just going to, just to sculpt out my face a little bit here and round on my T-zone. A pound. Absolutely love that um, face powder. I really do. And then for blusher, I am going to be using for my cream blusher, uh, Bomb Bomb Baby by P. Louise. Love these. I oh, that rhymed. So I'm just going to pop a little bit. This is a proper like baby pink, as you can see. It's very pale, but we're going to darken it up with something else in a little bit. So I'm just going to blend blend this out up towards the temples again. So pretty. Love that. And then Primark one pound blusher. Uh, I can't see the shade. It was actually on a sticker there and it, it's wore off. So it's in this beautiful light bubblegum pink now. And I'm just going to set that in place with this lovely bubblegum pink onto the apples of the cheeks a little bit and under the eye keep it as bright as possible under there i'm really liking that pink eye look how bright my under eyes look loving that up onto the temple again lifting everything up beautiful absolutely love that blusher and then I'm just gonna go over again with my makeup sponge just to make sure everything is all blended together loving that absolutely loving it wow I'm quite liking that look now for lips oh no I'm just gonna do a bit of uh, eyeliner this is the Lord and Berry smudge proof in black so I'm just gonna do my inner corner I always do my inner corner with like a little inner corner wing like that, like so. And then I'm just going to tight line as well. I don't know whether to do my water line at the bottom today. That's it. I've just done in the water line as well. Really, really like that look today. Quite simple. Full coverage on the base, but I'm loving that pink under eye. Now, let's do the perfect lip combo. This is my favourite lip combo at the moment. So, for lip liner, I'm using P. Louise in the shade Shady Lady. And it's like this brown shade. So, I'm just going to line my lips with this. So, I've gone all over my lips with the lip liner. Love that. Then... This lipstick is um, MUA Satin Sheen Lip Style Out and it's in like this nudie colour. It's lovely over the top. Love it. And then in the middle, just a little bit of this P. Louise. I cannot see the shade. Whether you can, is it going to focus? I have no idea what shade it is because my lamps don't work properly. It's in this bright, uh, light um, nude colour, just in the middle. Like so. Love it. And then a little bit of gloss on the top. 
uh, I think this is a, I think it might be a L'Oreal one, the um, Rosie Pink, is it? Oh yeah, L'Oreal Paris there, that Rosie Pink Rose sent to me in our swap box, and I absolutely love it. Yeah, feeling that today, definitely feeling that. Little bit of highlighter, my favourite for that um, wet look skin is the Illamasqua Beyond Liquid Highlighter in the shade OMG. And yeah, OMG, this is my favourite. I have used this for so long. It's my go-to highlighter. Little bit on the tip of the nose. Work it up towards the temples and across onto the cheek. Little bit on the brow bone. Love it. If you like that glass skin look, then this is definitely the one. And again, just get the beauty blender. Blend it all in. Love, 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 love. Really enjoyed doing that look. So what I'm going to do now, I am just going to straighten my hair. And yeah, I'll be right back and we can talk about this. <laughs> there we go. That is the finished look for today. Um, I've really, really enjoyed doing that little makeup video. As I say, I've done one for ages, have I? Um, yeah, so I'm really impressed with the pink under eye. I will be doing that again. Absolutely love it. It's brightened up my eyes no end. And everything else that I've used today are firm favourites of mine. Um, the HMB Foundation, the Primark Blusher, the Primark Brow Sketch, the Primark Contour. I absolutely love some of Primark's makeup. Uh, the Too Faced Bronzer, P. Louise Blusher, Benefit Mascara. Uh, what's it called now? They're real. No, Big Girl, Bad Girl Bang Mascara. Absolute favourite. And this lovely lip combo as well. So, let me know what you think of the... Um, finished look let me know what your favorites are if there's anything that you'd like me to try i am quite willing to do that have you tried the pink under eye if so what do you think yeah uh lots more makeup videos coming my darlings I, I did lose track a little bit but i've just been busy with other things as you know um but i have got a shit ton of makeup to try <laughs> so yeah let me know if you want to see more and if there's anything that you'd like me to review or test out or anything like that. So I'm going to go. I hope you have an amazing weekend. It's Friday today. This will be my last video of this week. Uh, on Monday, I will be doing the draw for the giveaway. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. You still have a chance to enter for that beautiful um leather bag i'll leave a picture here of the bag that i'm giving away uh, if you want to come over watch the video subscribe to my channel like the video leave a comment and i'll uh, put you into the prize draw which as i say i will do on monday so for now i'm gonna go i'm gonna go and get my few little jobs done that i've got to do i've got to pop down the town and get some bread and stuff for the weekend and yeah i will see you all in the next one if you did like this video and you do like my content please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already it would be great to have you stick around and join my little YouTube family. Oh, and also, I just want to say thank you all for all the um, happy birthday messages. I have tried to reply to as many as possible. Um, I am still going through, but I do love heart everybody. But it's a massive job trying to reply to all the comments. <laughs> but I do try. But thank you anyway for all your lovely comments and uh, happy birthday wishes. Uh, it's so kind of you to continue to keep supporting me and all the lovely things that you, you say. It doesn't go unnoticed and it really does mean everything to me that, you know, you enjoy my content. A lot of you are saying that, 
you, you love the positivity on the channel, you know, there's no negativity and that's what I wanted to achieve when I started this channel was a positive, happy, kind, friendly space for us all to come together with no negative bad vibes, positive vibes all the way. So yeah, with all that being said, enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will see you all on Monday. I love you guys loads. Bye for now. Bye.